Okay, folks, today we want to talk about a mini split. I, I had a customer give me a call and he said, you know, my system is not cooling down. There's a problem here. Uh, we put this in, uh, oh, I don't know, about six months, maybe a year ago. So I want to show you the gauges. I, I put the gauges on and the gauges are down to somewhere around 75 to 80. You know, they should be somewhere around 125 to 150, depending on the cooling demand, okay? So I, I come on over here, and this customer is pretty resourceful, so he went ahead and took the sheetrock off the wall. I said, okay, well, let's check it out. So I walk in here, I want to show you this. This is how these things connect together. They connect together with flares, flaring nuts, and this here is the suction and this here is the liquid line. So I'm over here and I'm just checking it out. I'm just rubbing my finger. There's an oil residue. You can't really see it, but there's an oil residue right here. So right here is the problem. When the guys put this together, they didn't have the copper lined up exactly, maybe perfect, and or they didn't torque it down. So what one needs is take a couple of crescent wrenches and you'll just fix it in that manner. I'm not gonna do this on this video, but that's what it'll take to fix that. Plus, we'll do a bubble test on top of that. We have what they call soap in our industry, and uh, we'll put a test around and make sure it's, it's okay. So now we got to get the Freon out of the system or pump it down. So most folks don't have any idea how to actually pump down a mini split, so I'm going to show you how to pump one down real quick. For you technicians uh, that are in the industry, you know how a lot of times you'll turn in your liquid line? and then you'll pump it down using your suction. It's the same principle with the mini split, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. So I want you to look at this gauge. Watch this. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is the liquid line. So I'm actually gonna close it. One thing you wanna make sure you do when you do this, you gotta keep real close track. See how it's going down real quick? See how it's going down? See how it's going down? All right, that means the Freon is covered and I'm going to, Close this valve up all the way right here. And close up this valve. Yeah, all right, and then shut it off. All right, you see how this gauge is in the green? That means it's below atmospheric pressure. Okay, so now this thing has totally pumped down all the refrigerant. We're done. Now, what we can do is go in there and fix, tighten up that lock nut, put a nitrogen test on it, pull a vacuum, and recharge it. That's all there is to this, guys. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thanks.